Five Ways to Starve a Manipulative Person Manipulators are described in many names. Narcissists, cocky, demanding, self-centered, etc. All these names point to one thing. Manipulators are not empathetic or considerate and seek to be the center of attention. For narcissists to gain this central attention, they tend to manipulate their ways to get it. And if things don't go their way, it's a big problem for those around them, which can be very toxic. So, to control this, here are a few head starts. Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell for updates. 1. Ignore their compliments Manipulators love living in compliments. Either the praises are rendered to them as the center of attraction or it's from them to others to aid their manipulation. They tend to feed off your empathy for them that want to be pitied even when they commit the worst of all crimes. And to get this, they can victimize their slaves or praise you fervently so you'd overlook their mistakes or a situation they've caused. So when they attempt this, ignore the praise because they're shallow and they're only mentioned to manipulate you. 2. Don't open up to them To connect with people, we often share our life details or experiences with the people we meet because it often helps create bonds and intimacy between individuals. But not for a manipulator. A narcissist tends to always be on the lookout for what they can use to manipulate you and your secrets, escapades and personal lives, when made known to them, can serve as good ammunition to do this. So don't weaponize them. 3. Don't get emotional Strong feelings and emotions are what narcissists tend to look out for when they meet people. Some regard them as emotional vampires because they seek situations where you'd be vulnerable. So they can manipulate what they have and might later use it against you when you least expect it. So once you notice that a friend triggering you to know your reactions towards different scenarios, try backing down and observing them. See if they are narcissistic so you'd plan your next move. 4. Don't fall for their promises Big promises are one of the tools narcissists often use to hook you into believing them. They come to you with guarantees of what they would do if you do this or that for them. And when you get your part of the deal done, they won't meet theirs. Instead, they come up with more significant promises, further victimizing themselves so you'd accept the trick and continue pushing for their wishes. 5. Avoid their perspective Do you have that friend who always comes up with excuse upon excuse on why they didn't complete a task? Which they often do and always expect you to see from their perspective. That might be a narcissist and accepting that proposal is one you should never buy. The fact that narcissists want you to see from their view only makes you pity them and let them go, which can be consequential. Please, let us know your opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. Thanks for watching this video.